The next one comes from Tim in Louisville, Illinois. Whoa, it is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know, all the padding shrinking away. That's about right. Oh man, that thing is gorgeous. Scott, ah, the inside of the pouch is deteriorating. Yeah, but this is cool. Um, okay, that should have a battery caddy, I suspect. So I will probably have to fashion something. I might be able to get this working immediately. Now, this HP38E is something that I was actually quite excited to open up and take a look at here because I am just such a big fan of these older HP calculators. This is very much like the venerable HP 12C here. These are both RPN calculators in the early era of portable calculators, but the 38E is from 1978, so it is much earlier, and as you can kind of get a hint at with the display here, it is an older style calculator that uses bubble LEDs, and an RPN bubble LED calculator is just too great of an idea. So I'm really interested in getting this working and I am indeed going to do that today. Now, the thing about the 38E here is that it has this weird battery compartment. Now, this looks like it uses a caddy for batteries and or a rechargeable battery system. And also the power supply here is this weird hole in there. Now I looked up this a little bit. Uh, the power supply is actually a kind of blade connector that slots in that has contacts on both sides. So that's not going to be easy to recreate or make. Um, but the battery compartment actually is very easy to get going. And it's designed to work with um, just a single contact side, but it effectively uses two AA batteries in it and just shorts them on one side. So if I could connect these two batteries together on this side, it should work. And the easiest way to do that is going to be copper tape. Back again to save the day, copper tape is going to work perfectly here. So what I'm going to do to get this calculator up and running again here is snip off a piece of copper tape that will fit in that battery compartment easily enough. Come on. Oops, I got the twist tie there. All right, let's go ahead and peel this back, attach it in there. Now, unfortunately, the copper tape I have is fully uh, adhesive, so I'm going to have to peel off this paper side. It was just way easier to put it on with the paper so I could smoothly apply it. Then I'll peel the paper off, bingo. But it's going to have adhesive on it, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, now the top side is positive, so I will put this here. Now, unfortunately, this means the springs are only on, uh, actually, am I right? Is that top positive? I think that is. Let me just double check really quick so I don't fry this because I think I may have had it backwards there. All right, it's a good thing I checked. The bottom is positive, so let's go ahead and pop batteries. In like that. Now, anyway, there's uh, only the spring contact on one side, so that would be all that holds them in, but it looks like the power switch is a little fiddly. Yep. Ah, come on. All right. Uh, I actually had this fully working earlier, so I know those segments are good, unless the driver just blew or something. Ah, there we go. Getting close. Come on. There we go. Okay. Excellent. So this is an RPN calculator, which means if I want to do say five plus four, five enter four plus, and there we have our result. Now this is a financial calculator, much like the 12C again. So it has amortization, you know, interest, um, delta type stuff. So this is a really cool calculator, um, despite being financial based, um, it's stack based. This is, that's really cool. It shows you the stack um, on the card there and just probably describes how it works. But this is really awesome. And now I can go ahead and put this in there and I don't ever have to worry about a battery solution again with just a small piece of copper tape in there. So uh, yeah, that rocks. And that's now one of my all time favorite calculators I have ever used. 
oh man that's super cool 25 enter five divide yeah that rocks thank you again for sending this in and i'm glad i was able to fix it so quickly 